you are looking at video 16 of my invention. Uh, basically, as you can see, uh, the ones on the end that's closer to the uh, rotating drum are working better. And it kind of like dies down a little bit here. So it's got like a range now. But it's trying to work on that. As you can see, some are working better than others. That's the ones that are closer to the drums. So it does have a range for my testing in that. But uh, other than that, it's, it's working pretty good right now. I got a lot more tuning in that to do. Uh, CD3 are doing really good. Uh, I think a lot of the problem is right down in here. Let me zoom on in where my problem is. See, it's just kind of out of alignment right there. Uh, that, that's a real problem there. See how far this is out? Let me, right here from here to there. This is why you're not having a very good transfer motion from that point on. And sometimes it, it just, I'm still working on it. I just got some tuning in that. I just wanted to kind of show you what's going on on it. Let me back on out. This is what it looks like up far away. And it looks pretty cool right now. I mean, doesn't that thing look awesome? I got some uh, upgrades I'm going to do to it. Uh, everybody's going to say, oh, it's a failure. Oh, no, this thing ain't no failure. I just got to start tuning in it. Uh, some of the other upgrades I put right here. As you can see that thing right there, I can adjust it back and forth for the weight. Each one of those are adjustments for the weights. I'm going to put magnets down inside there eventually. There's some uh, see these counterweights are in here. There's different sizes and, and, and stuff I'm going to try out. I got to figure out which one is the best weight in that. So there's adjustments that's got to be made in there. Uh, I was able to, I'm learning a lot about tuning this thing. You know, it's going to take some time in that. Uh, and it's come along pretty good. I mean, you can't expect everything overnight. I got some uh, things that's up my sleeve on that. I'm going to, I'm not going to tell you right now, but. You'll be able to see it in the next video. I mean, this thing will be humming. I mean, I know right now you're going to say, Oh, that thing's a failure, you know. You're not going to do it. Well, I got some things i got to show you yet. You know, it's it's kind of like Nikola Tesla. You know, when they, everybody said that, you know, when he lit up Chicago, said, Oh, you ain't going to do that. Well, when he hit that switch, he knew that that was going to light up. How did he know all that? Nikola Tesla knew that because of his testing and his research constantly. And he knew what, exactly what was going to happen before it happened. It wasn't just something he made up out of his mind. This, this thing's beautiful though, isn't it? I got, some, I got some changes I'm going to make in it and it's going to be awesome when it runs. I mean, you're just not going to believe it. As you can see, I... Uh, had to widen these up a little bit so I could adjust it so it can move more in that. I want to make uh, some different rails in that and he's going to expand it. Anything you change in here, even these distances on these magnets right here, see there's a distance there. Like here, this is a 52 grade magnet over on this side and then over on this end that's a 42. So you can see the distance here is much closer. And also I found out when you rotate this, let me back on out. When this rotates, you want this one out from this one. You want this one vertical and this one sideways. So it's not, when it comes around, it doesn't bang, 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 bang. 
you know it it's more of a smoother operation and uh, you can see I put the uh, bushings inside of here those are all brass the parts down here these weights are brass too because brass is way heavier than aluminum and I need that for uh, the counterweights right now I'm just trying to get what is the best weight right now to, to do it this thing's awesome I mean it's coming out really good it's nice and, and, and pretty in that uh, but as soon as I get these uh, modifications made in it I mean this thing's just gonna blow your mind and that he's he, I got some upgrades but I don't want to tell you I just want to see how good you people are telling me what you think you can do and that to change this to make that if you noticed when I let me start this up again and let you see what happens here hang on Not kicking in yet. It's not running right right now. Something ain't right. Something's out, not quite right right now. I gotta do some more tuning on it. But it was running pretty good a while there, and I, I, I'm gonna put a little bit bigger motor in it. Uh, I'm not too concerned about the size of the motor and that. And that. I'm just more con concerned about the concept. Uh, right now, I got to do some a uh, little bit more tuning. I got a little bigger motor I want to put in it. You know, this one right here is just a little bit too small for what I want to do. It's a really small motor, and I'm running a lot. I figure if I I got a little bit bigger motor that's a little bit more powerful. But it'll use less juice in that. And uh, this one's just, you know. And then when I do these other modifications, you'll see what I mean. I mean, this thing's just going to start to hum. And you're going to really see it. And that, I got some other magnets I'm going to put into it. Uh, I'm going to put another, I'm going to put some 50s over here and pull these 40s out. You know, give it a little bit more power in that. So I'm going to put a little bit stronger magnets in there. Uh, tuning it, it's really a, something in that. Look down inside here. I mean, all these little parts in that. I mean, this thing's just really something how it's all put together in that. But you can see the alignment of these uh, stringer magnets. It's way out. I mean, so look how far that one's out from that one. You know, these things got to be directly in alignment. And... What I can do is just go through them and see which ones are the closest. But right here, if you take a look at these, these are fairly close. That set there is a little further apart. That's that's pretty bad right there. Look at this one over here. That's that's way out. You know, that's got to be right directly on the money. Look how far that one's out. So all I'll have to do is just go through each one of those. And try to get the alignment. It's that's part of the problem right there. I got a lot more tuning to do, and then I'm just going to keep working at it. I mean, just take one more look at this. This thing is just beautiful. I mean, you know. And then when I get these upgrades, I mean, this thing's going to hum. There's just no doubt in my mind that this thing is going to hum. It's going to run good. You know, just I'm just trying to get together. It takes a lot of time to tune it and try to make sure everything's running properly. And that. Look at all, you got all these magnets in here. Doesn't that look cool with all put together down inside there? Look at all those holes I drilled. That's for a special counter weight on the thing. It's and if you once you change that, anything you change, even the height of these magnets, the distance here from that magnet to this magnet. Will change a lot you'll see you know you move it a little bit it moves a lot you move these distances that moves a lot if you on these counterweights you add a little bit more weight or take a little bit of more weight it changes so I'll let you go and I'm almost done
Goodbye.